Hey everybody, we are back for another video and today we are in Lynchburg, Virginia and we're going to walk around some trails that will take us to the Hollins Mill Tunnel as well as checking out the Hollins Mill Dam. So come on, let's uh, check it out. And don't forget while you're in Lynchburg, get some Joe Beans. Ah yes, great coffee. Might be a little chilly in the tunnel, but this one's got lights in it. For most of its early history, Lynchburg relied on roads and the James River and Kanawha Canal to transport tobacco, coal, salt, iron ore, and other products to and from the city. The construction of Lynchburg's first rail line, the Virginia and Tennessee Railroad, began in 1850. Completed in 1856, it connected Bristol, Tennessee with Lynchburg and carried goods from west of the Blue Ridge Mountains. The Hollins Mill Tunnel is 450 feet long and it was completed in 1852 after crews of Irish immigrants and slaves worked simultaneously from both ends. Steel drills made holes in the rock that were packed with black powder and detonated. Progress was often measured in inches per day. By 1860, the Southside Railroad and the Orange and Alexandria Railroad had been extended to Lynchburg. During the Civil War, the city's three rail lines transported thousands of Confederate troops, wounded soldiers, supplies, and munitions. After the war, railroads helped Lynchburg's economy recover and prosper. Spur lines led to many factories so that the products could be loaded into boxcars. Through this tunnel, past the wood-burning locomotives and the coal-powered steamers of rail's golden age and the sleek diesels of the streamlined era. Do you like fish sticks? No, not really. I think they're too processed. I'd rather eat fresh fish. Just an interesting question, you know, walking along the trail and, you know. Do you like fish sticks? I don't know, it just seems kind of random to me. But it's a legitimate own. question. I guess it is, you know.
Prior to 1863, the property comprising Hollins Mill Park was owned by William Hollins, who operated a water-powered mill known as Blackwater Mills. During the Civil War, Hollins sold the property, and it subsequently became known as Hollins Mill. Hollins College in Roanoke was named for the Hollins family, who were early benefactors of the school. There's the light at the end of the town. All right, folks. Well, that was the video for today. I uh, hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, and uh, be sure to uh, like and subscribe if you like these kind of videos. And we will see you all on the next one. Have a great rest of your day.